Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eureka Archery. My name is Anwar Matsan and in today's video, I would like to test out a Malaysian made bow. Uh, this is the Thumbing Sari bow. Uh, originally, it came with just a bare fiberglass, so I requested the boyer to send me an unfinished bow and this is the finishing that I've done to the bow. So as you can see, there is an arrow pass here. This is not actually ray skin, this is artificial ray skin made from uh, cow leather. And here we have a wood rain look as well as a full horn look at the back. Uh, the boyo did mention that the sia is made from a hundred year old tree. It's a fruit tree native to Malaysia, the chiku fruit. And uh, this is how the bow looks like. I believe the bow pulls about uh, 45, 46 pounds. Uh, I just requested for this poundage just to see how well it works. So we're going to try out the bow, we're going to try out the speed and we'll see how it works. So let's string up the bow. So the bow here has given us a pink uh, string. I think this is Dacron, Dacron string. Uh, the bow is roughly 48 inches long, it's quite short. So let's string it up. So this is the bow all strung up. The construction of the fiberglass is bending, it's a, a fiberglass bending. And um, as you can see here, there is serving on the transition. Now the CR is quite unique. It looks like a, like a rocket, but it has a string bridge with it. So all in all, aesthetically, after the uh, finishing work of, work, of course, it looks nice. So let's see how the arrow flies with this bow. Uh, it does stack a little bit, and that is uh, quite common in fiberglass bows. But looking at the speed, it's actually quite fast. So that one straight to the center and it hit the metal at the back and let's try this one more time and we'll go further back so that we can see the trajectory of the arrow at longer distances right so here we are at uh, 10 meters so let's see how it works we'll use the carbon arrows first then I'll try to use the wood arrow that I made specially for the bow So let's try to draw and anchor this. It does uh, feel stacking. But you can see the arrow is actually really, really fast. It's a kind of bow that you have to keep shooting to really tame it. Uh, for the first few shots, it does feel a little bit wild, but after a while, It does place the arrow nicely. So let's take this in a different angle. Uh, that was roughly 26 inches of draw. So let's try to push it a bit to 28. At 27 inch, you can actually feel the stack. So let's try to get it at 28 at least. And let's try this again. But grouping wise, it's pretty good. Well, I heard a slight crack just now. Possibly it's the glue. Let's hope it's not anything wrong with the bow. So let's try this from this angle. Vibration is about five seconds. You can actually feel the vibration. Um, hand shot wise uh, you feel it for a bit here at the base of the handle but uh, nothing too major so let's try to shoot a few more and then we'll try the wooden arrows made specially for the bow so 
again I'm not even anchoring properly so let's try to do this uh, without the speed shooting let's try to draw anchor and aim proper so that actually pierces through the target there's a lot of uh, I would say pushing power or penetrating power with this bow somehow Now let's try these arrows. These are wooden arrows. If not mistaken, this is ramen, white wood. So this is how it looks like with the cresting and the fletching and the tip. So let's try to see whether the spine measurement and the weight is suitable for the bow. So good. So let's try this bow at 20 meters. We're gonna try to use the locking point up high here and to see how well the arrow can be placed. So the first arrow, uh, lower right. So let's try to compensate this. So that hit in the inner, inner black circle. That hits the bullseye. So later I'll bring the camera closer so that we can see uh, the results up close. And then, okay, go. Go. So that's another bullseye. It's a little bit high because I actually was anchoring a bit lower here. It wasn't exactly here. So let's take a look together at how the arrow is placed using this bow, the Taming Sari bow, modified by me. And shooting at 20 meters, uh, five arrows, you can actually see this is the kind of uh, grouping, so to speak. So these two was quite close together, so I'll take the one that's out first. This arrow was the one anchored slightly lower. So these two was aimed exactly at the middle with the anchor point here. And so far, it's, it's a bow that you need to take at least 20, 30 shots to really break it in. So for you to really understand what it's able to do. And of course, if you would like to decorate your own bow, you can get the unfinished version. That's pure fiberglass. It looks something like in this picture right here. This is how the bow used to look like, and I modified it to look like this. So this is bow is basically fake everything. You have the fake wood laminate, you have the fake horn look, you also have the fake uh, ray skin. But other than that, this bow is okay, suitable. Uh, I do not recommend this for beginners at all because uh, one, it takes some strength to string up the bow because of the construction, it's an EFG bending and number two, if you're not used to the feel of a fiberglass bending bow, uh, it may be a bit un uncomfortable for those of you who started probably with a Roland snake or a polycarbonate bow that is uh, actually very flexible. So for this one, when you draw here, you can already start feeling the stack and up to here, that's you're pushing it so it's about 28 inches at most before you're really pushing the bow uh, arrow speed I, it, it goes at about 165 fps not bad for a fiberglass bow uh, bow length is about 48 inches and the string is i think uh, 44 so that's about four inch of race height uh, all in all i am looking to sell this bow for any of you who are interested uh, I'm, I'm selling this bow uh, it comes with the two wooden arrows that is tuned to the bow. Alright, so let's try this again with the tuned arrows. Handmade, of course. Oh, 
wasn't even a full draw, but the arrow is flying straight. And it places very nicely. So if you want to get tuned arrows to your bows, you can contact me, I can custom it for you. But other than that, this bow works fine with carbon arrows, no problems at all. And definitely you can use this for international competitions or 3D competitions with this bow. Not a problem at all. So what, who would I recommend it to? Intermediate archers. Uh, not for beginners, especially not for kids. There is a kids, kids version. I've done a review for that, so watch out for that video. I will also be doing the modifications like this to the kids bow as well. So, that's the conclusion for the Taming Sari bow, Malaysian made fiberglass bending uh, traditional bow. I'm selling this, so do check out my Facebook page, that is Eureka Archery. You can also uh, subscribe uh, to us on YouTube. We are Eureka Archery. So my name is Anwar Matsaat. Till next time, be an archer today.